My name is Jens, Jens Uwe Parkitny. I'm German. Yes, this is a very special exhibition because it's a combined exhibition. So I'm exhibiting my black and white photography with the paintings of a young Southern Chin artist. And what we both try to do in our work is to capture vanishing expressions of identity. So the other artist, Nen Yen, he was growing up in Mindat. So that is a community in Southern Chin State. And his work is impressions of traditional attire, ceremonies and rituals. And he captured that from within. And what I did, I, as a foreigner, I approached that same community from the outside, trying to capture also vanishing expressions of identity, such as the facial tattooing. So both what we try to uh, show in our work is expressions of identity that are vanishing very fast and that express the soul of a people, and in that case, the soul of the Southern Chin people. I mean the challenges? Well, of course, uh, a lot of these communities I approached, I was the first foreigner and I came with a big camera and I was asking if I could take the portraits, but I never came empty handed. So I brought clothing, I brought medicine and I brought something very valuable, which is Polaroid camera. So I could instantly issue photos and give people back. And that broke the ice. It was an icebreaker. And some of the communities and villages I visited several times over the years and that way felt trust. And this is why I was able to capture these unique photos. That whole project, photography project, I decided to start in 2001. And I did that over a course of 14 years. So 14 years on and off, I came to Myanmar and vanished into the wild of Western Myanmar, Southern Chin State, Western Rakhine, and also parts of Magwe Division searching for these women with facial tattoos. And the greatest challenge was that no one could tell me where to exactly go and find these women. So I had to basically do my own expeditions and search. And um, that kept me on a quest for over 14 years. And this is why this body of work is a very important one for the Chin people. Um, and it's the only body of work in the world that documents the vanishing tradition of facial tattooing. There's no one else who did it so systematically over such a long time. Yeah, these portraits and these, these faces. So how did I approach these faces? It's a very good question. Um, I was very intrigued by what I saw. So I went to Southern Chin State the first time back in 2001 to Kampele. And there I met a woman with a facial tattoo for the first time. And I was immediately intrigued because I saw beauty, I saw a different expression of beauty. I saw patterns that I was fascinated by. And uh, that way, I started the project. I decided, wow, this is so different from the beauty concept that I grew up with in the Western world that I wanted to capture it. And I wanted to capture these women in dignity and show the beauty of their facial tattooing. Thank you for interviewing me. Jesu Dimbade.